One concept we haven't really talked about yet in these videos is a variety of views that you might work with when you're using computer programs. Many, many computer programs use an assortment of views. They're just different ways of looking at the same information, like the front side of the penny or the back side of the penny. There are views in Word. They're down in the bottom right-hand corner. Or you could click the View tab. Either one is fine. There are three in Word. Print Layout View, which is the one you usually use, a Reading View, or a Web Page Preview, a Web View. In Excel, there are also three. Normal, Page Layout, where you can see the headers, and then a Page Break Preview that shows you the little dashed lines where the page will break. PowerPoint has four, actually. There's the normal view, the slide sorter view, the reading view, and the slide show view. And I'm right now in the slide show view. These concepts are really useful to you no matter what program you're using. But now as we're getting ready to create a table, uh, I thought w it was time for us to look at views. In a query, views and access, in a query, there are on the Home tab, on the left side of the ribbon, there are actually three views. The data sheet view, the SQL view, and the design view. And you might not use the SQL view now, but that's okay. In the, actually, if you're in the design view, you could either click the Run button to run the query, or just change to the data sheet view. It's really the same thing. In a form, there were three views available, the form view, the layout view, and the design view. And you can do different amounts of editing in each various view. On reports, there are four views, report view, print preview, layout view, and design view. Again, each one has a certain purpose. So now when we come to a table, there are two ways, actually, you can create a table. I do have a recommendation. If you look up on the Create tab, there are two listed there, the Table and the Table Design. Table View will give you the Data Sheet View. And if you look at the picture here at the bottom of the screen, it looks kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. It's really good for entering data once you have it created. Those will be the records. That's what it's good for. Some people use it to create the table, but I don't think that's the best way. I think the best way is to create it from the design view because you have full access to all of the details you might want to enter about that piece of data. It is the view you would use to design the database, but not the place where you would enter the information. That would be in the data sheet view. So this was just a little introduction to views, and then we'll certainly apply that information when we look at how to create a database table.